Welcome to Akshara Foundation's introductory video on subtraction. To teach this important concept to students, you can use square counters, base 10 blocks, play money, abacus, number line, and place value mat found in Akshara's maths kit. Let us start with an example from daily life. If Geeta has five bananas and gives three to Amina, how many bananas does Geeta have? From five, when we take away three, we are left with two. So Geeta is now left with two bananas. Place seven counters on the table. Shade seven squares on a square ruled paper. Ask a student to take away two. There are five remaining. Seven minus two is equal to five. The minus sign is used to show that two is taken away from seven. The equal to sign shows the amount that is remaining or the difference. This process is called subtraction. If Raju has two counters and Amina asks him for seven, what does Raju do? After giving away two counters, Raju has none left to give. This establishes that a bigger number cannot be taken away from a smaller number. The number line is also very useful to teach the concept of subtraction. To find 9 minus 5, ask students to count 9 beads on the number line and mark with a clip. Next, Count 5 beads backwards and place another clip. Now, count till the beginning of the line. From 9 we have taken away 5, we are left with 4. Let us see how addition and subtraction are related. If we add 5 to 4, we get 9. Now, from 9, remove 5. We are left with 4. If 4 is removed from 9, we are left with 5. Thus, subtraction is the reverse of addition. For the addition fact 5 plus 4 equals 9, we have two subtraction facts. 9 minus 5 equals 4 and 9 minus 4 equals 5. Let students practice and write addition and subtraction facts for groups of three numbers using the plus sign minus sign and equal to sign correctly. Students can also use play money to understand subtraction. 9 rupees minus 1 gives us 8 and 9 minus 2 gives us 7. 9 minus 3 gives us 6 and so on. We see how subtraction reduces the original number 9. Here is an interesting fact. If we take away 9 from 9, what is left? Nothing or 0. 7 minus 7 is 0. 4 minus 4 is 0 and so on. In other words, when the entire quantity has been taken away, we are left with 0. But suppose we take away nothing from 9. We still have 9 left. 9 minus 0 is equal to 9. 7 minus 0 is equal to 7, 4 minus 0 is equal to 4, and so on. When we take away 0 from any number, the original number remains unchanged. Let students try some more problems for practice. Let us use the place value mat and base 10 blocks to show two-digit subtraction. Here is a quick introduction to the base 10 blocks. Each yellow cube represents one unit. Ten small cubes are equal to one blue rod of ten. Ten blue rods equal one hundred or one green plate. Ten green plates equals one thousand or one red cube. Let us solve 38 minus 15. Say aloud, 38 is three tens and 8 units. 15 can be expressed as 110 and 5 units. We start the subtraction process from the units place. 8 units minus 5 units 
gives us 3 units. 3 tens minus 1 ten gives us 2 tens. The difference or the answer is 2 tens and 3 units or 23. For more practice, students can use play money to solve problems. Let students try the abacus for some of the problems. Yellow beads denote units, blue beads denote tens, green beads denote hundreds, red beads denote thousands, and white denote ten thousands. 376 is three hundreds, seven tens, and six units. Take away 132, which is 100, three tens, and two units. Start from the units place, then proceed to the tens place and the hundreds place. We are left with two hundreds, four tens, and four units, which is the difference. Multiple aids can help students master the concept and also helps organize group work. Once students have learned the basic rules of subtraction, they will be ready to learn subtraction with borrowing.